Hi again. I'd like to continue the discussion of the shopping cart. So the shopping cart that we're going to work on is a JavaScript, um, you know, tutorial. And we're going to make a basic shopping cart using JavaScript. It's going to take us a little while. I want to go over all the details of it. So, uh, you know, in the last video, I talked about the array. Okay. So in this video, I'd like to talk about the object because this is going to be a key element to our shopping cart. Okay. So let me actually just delete all this. We can just lose all that. There wasn't much there anyway, right? We're going to come back to that array and the object and put them all together too in the future. So let's talk about the object now. So what is an object? Well, an object is a collection of um, methods and properties. So it's essentially it's a collection. So, you know, just like the array is a collection, it's an ordered collection, right? Because everything in the array is organized on an index. All the items are, you know, 0, 1, 2. So, you, you, you know, you can get the item at the first position or the second position, right? Um, an object is a collection of <clears throat> that's, that's organized on a key, okay? So the key is like a named, you know, position. So where, you know, the, where, where the, the, the array, you can get at each item 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. With the object, you can get at each item by its name. Okay, the key value, which is which can be anything, right? I'll have to do an example here. So let's imagine that you know we created an an object called a user. Actually, I'll just call it object for now, OBJ. Okay, and to define an object in JavaScript, we use the curly brackets. So our object begins here and ends here, right? Uh, you know, this is very similar to the array that began with the square bracket and ended with the square bracket, right? the object begins with the curly braces, okay? So um, to define the key values in an object, you just type the name. So I'll type key, and then you follow with a colon and the value. So here, key is equal to 10. And then you could say, you know, like A is equal to, you know, 33, and B is equal to, oops, um, you know, a name, okay? Um, the key value can be anything. So the key, it needs to be um, a string of letters or numbers, right? You can't begin on a number, okay? The value here can be anything you like. It can be a number, it can be a string, it can be another object, it can be an array, okay? So this can be pretty much anything. The key, though, needs to be an identifier, so an identifier is the type of names that you create in your program to represent variable and function names, okay? So it has to begin with a letter. The rest of the name can only be made up of letters and numbers. Spaces and special characters are not allowed. Um, with objects, you're actually allowed to also use a string for the key, okay? So you can do something like that, right? Okay, um, in, in our examples, I'll just do the regular keys like this, okay? So anyway, so, uh, you know, what do we got here? We got, a, you know, some random stuff. What if we wanted to do something a little more interesting? Imagine, you know, we had an item in the shopping cart and we wanted to represent it as an object. So what we might have is we might have, you know, the name of an item. The name might be, you know, Apple. And then we might have, I don't know, the, the cost of an item. And maybe the price is, you know, $1.99. Apples are really expensive these days. And I guess this is, this is an or, organic, you know, um, uh, handcrafted apple, okay? Um, and then you might have, like, a count, right? How many apples did I buy? Well, I can only really afford one at $1.99, but maybe I'll just buy two um, anyway, right? So, uh, so anyway, so there we go. Now, this might describe pretty well something in our shopping cart. We might even want to add more properties, okay? Um, but anyway, now, now that we've got this, this shopping cart item, like how do we get at the elements inside here? Okay, well, back to console log. Oops, I got to put the dot in there, right? So console.log. Um, if I want to get an object, you know, I can just type it in here and then you know, we'll refresh, I'll save, and then refresh over here, right? And, it, and you know, the console says, oh, that's an object, 
and then here's what it looks like you know in JavaScript terms but how do we actually get the values out of there well we can do this right if I say object dot name right notice that's the key value right so if I name the key I'll get the value here okay let's try it I'll save that and I'll go back here and refresh and then you can see I get Apple right and if I wanted to get a different value like I want to say you know console dot log object dot cost right and you can see I get a dollar ninety nine right so uh, so anyway so that's pretty interesting right you know with the array we're getting everybody by index but the index isn't very descriptive like you know one two three like what you know what what is index one you know we don't know but here when I get in an item with console log and I say object dot name and I use the key the key is very descriptive right so this is the name and this must be the cost those are two different things and it's very obvious reading the code so that's one of the great things about the object is that you know when you get at the elements in there they're very descriptive right um, on the other hand the uh, the array is kind of nice too because you can keep things in an order right so think about that there's two different ways you can work with this so let me just you know present this idea when we create the shopping cart we'll use an array to hold items in the cart but every item will be represented as an object with descriptive properties so that way you know when we have the cart and the array we can look at each item in the cart in order because they're in the array but each each item individually we can look at its properties and get the name the cost and the count because those will be objects okay so anyway so there's our objects there let me do another example here I'm gonna do a for loop and how do you get all the items you know all the property names out of you know or all the values for each property inside an object well we can use a for loop and we can't do the for loop that counts okay so with, what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna do a for in loop okay so I got for var i in object and I use, just used I here you can use any value you could do key right maybe I'll switch that to key maybe that'll be more descriptive right this really could be any value this is the object that we want to iterate through so this for loop is saying hey you know let's loop once for each property or key value in this object right here okay and this this actually works for arrays too and I'll, I'll do an example of that in a moment right so let's test it so what if we say console dot log and then we say um, how about we do this why don't we just say key and then I'll use the plus sign here to combine that with a string that is just going to contain the space here and then we'll put the plus sign here and we'll say object and then here's another way to get at elements in an object so if you have the value and what's going to happen is this key value is going to be a string version of the the key value here okay and if you take a string and you put it in the square brackets following the object using a similar syntax to the array right it'll give you the value for that key right so so let's try that so here we're going to print out the key value that we're looping through to see what that is and then here we're going to print out the object value at that key okay let's give it a try so I'll save that and then I'll refresh and you can see it says name Apple cost dollar ninety nine count two okay let's com let's compare that to what we have here try and make this a little smaller here right so here we go we got uh, key in object console log key value name space that's the space and then the key value right key so if this is name for object it's going to give me value apple right so anyway so there's um there's a quick introduction to um to uh to objects right let's just throw this in here just for fun too 
Um, if you had an array like we did in the last example and you use the for in loop, I'll do for var i in array. Actually, you know, why don't we do a key like we did the did this one up here and then I'll just copy this. And then on this one, you know, we're we're going to loop through array, right? So so we can loop through an array in the same way. Watch what happens here. So with the array, you'll see that we're looping through, you know, each item in the array without knowing the length, like it kind of figures that out. And then the key value is just the index. Okay? And then, you know, if we say array bracket key, if the key is the index, then it gives us the value, right? So anyway, thanks for watching. I hope that's useful. And like I said, we're going to continue this into a shopping cart. I'm just trying to get the basic ideas out now. And then I hope you guys can follow along. Thanks for watching again.